It is Wednesday, Citizens of Night Vale. Or is it? Could it be that instead of days, weeks, months, or years, we simply imagine it to be the day Wednesday. And it simply becomes Wednesday no matter what other day of the week we are on. For all of the sad days, weeks, months, and even years could simply be illusions to us to satisfy our everyday boring lives. Our boring, unscripted, unknown, everyday lives. Welcome to Night Vale. Hello everyone, I am Cecil Ball. Wait, wait a minute, no I'm not. Hello all of my fellow clouds. My name is FellyCloud1234. In this video, I've decided to make a tribute to one of my favorite podcasts on this entire planet. Inside of the solar system, in the Milky Way. No, I said Milky Way, not Mikey Way. Anywho, welcome to Night Vale. Weird and unnatural events occur in Nightvale, a small desert town located somewhere in the southwestern United States of America. Because where the fuck else do you expect it to be, you fucking idiot? And how else do you report these strange events than through a radio news station? I found out about Welcome to Nightvale through the means of a very talented YouTuber by the name of Internet Historian. He talked about Welcome to Nightville in his video, The Failure of Dashcon, which I really highly suggest you watch after this video. After watching his video, I decided to start listening to the podcast, and I got really hooked on it. In fact, I'm still trying to catch up. I think I'm in 2014 right now. Don't worry, I'll get it there. So you're probably wondering to yourself, what does Subway have to do with this? Well, I'm getting to that. In episode 8, the lights in Radon Canyon, the sponsor for the evening was none other than Subway, the immensely popular sandwich making restaurant, who at the time was advertising their new sandwich, the 6 inch mashed potato sub. Step into your nearest Subway restaurant today and try their new 6 inch mashed potato sub. Top it with a delicious assortment of fresh vegetables, like french fries and Nutella. They'll even toast or poach it for you. There are several subway locations in Night Vale, all easily accessible through witchcraft and chanting. And between now and November 30th, buy nine reverse colonics and get a free 40-ounce soda or freshly baked tobacco cookie. Subway. Devour your own empty heart. After listening to this advertisement, I became really interested in the idea of a new Subway sandwich, as well, one of a very unusual nature. So I figured, why not make one myself, but without the witchcraft and chanting. Not that I have a problem with witchcraft and chanting. I just want to make a sandwich that's easy for everyone to make. That doesn't have to include using witchcraft and chanting to summon a freaking Subway switch on out of nowhere, or however they do it in Nightvale. And here are our ingredients. We have the bread. Uh, necessity for creating sandwiches, obviously. We have the mashed spuds, which shall be the main uh, meat. And let us not forget the vegetables that shall be going on the sandwich. We have french fries. And uh, Nutella, well, n Nutella, Hazelnut spread, a la Shoprite. Lovely. And of course, shout out to Wawa for providing me with the bread and the mashed potatoes. Yeah, none of this stuff comes from uh, Subway. Because they don't sell mashed potatoes Subways. So, hopefully after this video, maybe they shall consider uh, putting on a menu. Maybe something promotional in case uh, Welcome to Nightfall has anything in plan. 
So, let us begin the creation of this beauty. So basically what I did is, I didn't know how much mashed potatoes I would need for this, so I played it safe and went to, and I spun for the medium size instead of the small size. Why not logic? I don't know. And here it is, the mashed potato sub. However, it's still missing something. Second spoon. This is weird, and I love it. Gosh, get it on there. I'm having much more fun with this than making the vegetarian Luther burger. Not that I can have fun making that, but that's just a simple sandwich. But this, this is beautiful. Oh fuck, you know, oh I should put that on a uh, before I put the mashed potatoes on, but mm, whatever. You you guys can uh, obviously make this however you want to at home. Luther Vandross would be proud of me. Hell, if he was alive uh, right now, he would uh, probably do this. I'm pretty sure Luther's tastes do not stop at using donuts as buns for hamburgers. No, I'm pretty sure Luther was a very uh, What would the word be for Luther Vandross and uh, weird eating habits? I don't know. But, uh, here we go. Behold. The mashed potato sub. At Subway. In Night Vale. That you can only get through by uh, using witchcraft. And some other thing that I can't remember right now. But... Yeah. Oh, you can also uh, either have this stuff uh, toasted or poached. I don't know how you poach a uh, hoagie or a subway, but that's be interesting. As for me, uh, I think I'm just going to heat this up in the microwave and um, consume. Because I am not in the mood to turn my oven on right now. I don't know. Don't you dare fall off, I swear, if this falls off, it's going to be turmoil. I could have made it more perfect, but... Make this happen if you want to. And you know that when I get the chance again, I am definitely going to make this again. So if I on for 30 seconds, that's usually what I use to uh, heat everything up. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's warm. How are the spuds? Oh shit, I'm sorry Gus. Oh, I, I stepped on my puppy. Sorry, I guess Donna. Oh, Gus. How you doing, Jenny? You good? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh dear. Oh, I'm so ticklish. She's always ticklish. I know. I would feed this to the boss, but obviously the new towel would probably do something disastrous to them. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. The time for feast has begun. Wait. Hmm. 
I know what was going through the minds of the Nightfield crew. You know, by using um, French fries as a topping for a mashed potatoes slab. Because they're both potatoes, so I guess I'm looking for a, a crispy factor. Which I guess is a downer for me because I use like weak old fries. So yeah, that's, this is yeah, that's basically it. The the mashed potato sub at Subway in Nightfield. But yeah, uh, when you do this, make sure your fries are like really crispy because I think that's what they were going for. I don't know. I'm surprised no one makes a sandwich yet. I mean, this episode's been out for like four years now. I mean, you lot have all the time in the world to do this. But, eh, better late than never. So, there you have it. Good luck to all of you who want to make the sandwich, and I hope the results of your sandwiches are just as tasty as mine, if not better. Because uh, obviously I feel like I could have done a better job of this. But, yeah. Now, I shall consume what is left of it. And as for the rest of you, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night! You having fun over there, guys?